Construction Arium is a, a facility that provides the students with to gain on-site learning eh, as well as their theory stuff that they learn in the actual university. It lets them get hands-on and see how it happens in the real world. So for a lot of us it was learning how first principles are adapted into here and also getting valuable site experience and for some people working out that they are um, wanting to be on site or in the office. Construction Arium is a type of experience you just can't get in a classroom. It's just so valuable. To me it's really a trial of applying all your university knowledge on site and practically building something. Their strap line really is turning theory into practice uh, and what they do is we can do only so much in the university. We can give them lectures, give them all the technical information, we can take through the laboratories, we can take through the design office, but what they do in the construction area is actually take all that and put it into a real world situation, or as real real world as they can get it. Constructionarium gave us a very good idea of what roles they were in a, in a construction project and what they were doing. Previously we were very unknowledgeable despite lots of us studying the subject. With their knowledge they've been doing this work for years and years and uh, being someone who has never done anything, you just, just watching them, listening to them speak, talk about things, the, the tricks, you know, the tricks of the trade. Well, the contractors are really great. They've been really helpful in reassuring us that we're actually on the right track and we're not making silly mistakes. You get experience from the professionals and you get hands-on sort of guidance in industry. They learn a lot about health and safety, about risk assessment, about method statements. They look at budgetary control. They have to bring their projects in on time and on budget. They learn a lot about team working skills. They learn a lot about communication and they end up at the end of the week uh, benefiting quite quite well out of, out, of, out of their experience. I think it really applies all the knowledge you're learning in class because it's really difficult to see that you need to learn a step-by-step -step thing to get something done as we just design the final product and not see how it's actually completed. Because it's all very well being told well this is what concrete looks like when it's set and you have a little bit of lab experience with that but to actually see it going in, see how it's delivered, see how the formwork around it goes and also adapting to problems you might not see and then the more experience you get with those problems the more you can apply them to jobs in the future. We spent six hours yesterday trying to find out how to get, get the right um, mould for the cement um, and we finally cracked it by the end of the day and it was like the happiest feeling. They are actually exposed to a real working environment here and if any of, many of the students, if they end up going on working on site, they'll be doing the sorts of things that they're doing here. They'll be looking at health and safety, they'll be looking at uh, assessing the risk of doing a particular job. They'll be writing out method statements because they can't do anything on site until they've completed all these tasks. Instead of saying that they haven't had any practical work they can say that they've completed a project and go into that in detail for MD that's looking to employ them. I'm really proud that my safety boots are covered in mud because now I look like I've actually been an engineer and done stuff. <laughs>